What is going on everybody? ASX TCG here with a very, very special video today. One that I have been waiting to film and get out there for you guys. Uh, I just had to wait for a couple things to come in the mail, but they have finally gotten here. Uh, the last thing I was waiting for was this package right here from TCG Funhouse. Uh, he's an awesome, awesome PokeTuber, great friend. Uh, and he had he has actually just started up uh, a new store. He just got his uh, license to be able to sell uh, Pokemon cards. So he is a licensed uh, Poke Pokemon card reseller. Uh, definitely go check him out, check his channel out and um, you know make sure to message him so you can check out his store as well he just got started up I got I think one of his first uh, you know first few shipments that got in I actually got in on this so guys I want to get this open for you it is something super special um, one that I am super super excited for so let's get right into it here and uh, after we open up this I'll let you guys know what we uh, what kind of cards we're gonna be opening up today I think you guys are gonna be super excited for that I know I am so I got to be very very careful with this because it is a very special item that's inside here I can't wait to show you guys this I am so happy I got my hands on one of these here so I got to be super careful sorry I keep bumping the camera I might have to adjust that let me get into this guys sorry it is taking a minute just got to be super careful when it's something like this. All right, guys, I got it open here. And it looks so far like it is packaged pretty nicely. Whew. Guys, I know you can't see this yet, but whew, I am so, so excited to show you this. Uh, before I show you what's in here, though, I am actually super excited that I got one of these. I was hoping that they would send one of these as well. It's one of their custom TCG Funhouse cards, so that is very cool, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll definitely be putting that in my background here. Uh, that is very cool. So there, there you go. There's their YouTube. They're also on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you guys follow them and... Uh, yeah, give them, you know, uh, give them a sub, check out uh, their stuff, throw some likes on their videos. They got some really, really awesome content. And uh, he's really starting to get into, um, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, nitty gritty of Pokemon and, uh, you know, what it's like to actually get into, you know, opening your own store. So it's really cool. All right, guys, you've had enough of me talking. I want to get this out of this box for you guys. I am super excited. Sorry, I need to stand up here because it needs to come out as careful as I can get it out. Guys, this is super, super exciting. Here it is, guys. I got my hands on one of these Hidden Fates Elite Trainer boxes. Guys, it looks like it is in some great condition, too. Let's check it out. Here's the side. Uh, we're looking good so far. Um, back looks great. The other side looks good. Top's looking good. Uh, I'm looking for a condition here. Um, by the way, guys, because uh, I know this might not be super a super, super popular opinion. Um, it looks like, if anything, we might have something right here. Um, it might just actually be the packaging. Uh, it doesn't actually look like it's torn or anything. I'm going to stop messing with it, though. Um, but this looks like it is in great condition. Uh, TCG Funhouse, thank you guys so, so much uh, for sending it. Uh, sending me one that is in, honestly, perfect-looking condition here. Um, so... Like I was saying, this might not be an, a popular opinion, but uh, I think I might be keeping this one sealed, guys. This is going to stay in the sealed collection. Uh, as you may know, if you've looked at the prices for these online, um, you really can't get them at all. Uh, for what you can find them at a Walmart or Target, if you're even lucky enough uh, to be able to do that right now. Um, so I think right now this is going to stay in the sealed collection, but don't click off of this video quite yet because, guys, uh, I'm not going to leave you hanging. We are going to be opening up some Hidden Fates today, guys. I am super excited. We're opening up this uh, Hidden Fates Charizard GX tin. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do this. It'll be the very first time I've ever opened up a Hidden Fates product uh, at all. I've just watched them on YouTube here, uh, maybe as many of, you know as you guys have as well. And then I don't want to just cut you short at four packs, so I'll be opening up this double V box. Uh, just felt really good about this double V box here. Uh, it was a little bit dented, but all the other ones uh, were all busted open and the packs looked a little sus. So I grabbed this one. It was uh, closed nice and tight, just a little dented on the corner, so hopefully that's a good luck dent. 
Um, all right, guys, uh, I am going to actually safely put this ETB here uh, back in this box because it was packaged so nicely um, that, uh, you know, I don't want to mess this up at all. So give me just one second, guys. All right, guys, so uh, I think I do uh, want to save the best for last. Hopefully, it's got the best pulls in there. Again, I have never opened up uh, any Hidden Fates at all, so anything that we get in that tin is going to be awesome, but you guys know what the awesome, really, really awesome pull is. Um, the big brother to that guy right there. So uh, I'm going to save this Charizard GX tin uh, for the last four packs, and I am going to get into this double V box here first. So gonna get this right open here. Let me get this tin out of the way. All right, so like I was saying, I felt pretty good about this double box. Uh, when I saw it on the store shelf, um, yes, I was lucky enough to find one of these on the store shelf. Uh, all the other ones I've had to get online, but uh, felt really good about this one. Had a good luck dent on the corner, um, but the real reason I felt so good is because it has three Al Creamy V Max packs, uh, and that's the type of pack I pulled that shiny Charizard V out of. So I'm super excited to bust a few more of those open. Um, let me see. Here is the code for that. Get this jumbo card out of the way. So like I said, we got one, two, and three Al Creamy VMAX packs and a Gardevoir VMAX pack. So let us get right into it, guys. I'm gonna save these three bad boys for last. Get into this Gardevoir VMAX pack first and see what we can do. Let's see if we can just have an absolutely amazing opening. That would be awesome, guys. Uh, I am just so excited to be able to get into that Hidden Fates. Um, I know it's super hard to find uh, those tins. If you haven't seen my other videos when I talked about it, um, those tins I was able to get from uh, GameStop online. Um, was super lucky to be able to get those. Got a Water Energy, Victini, Hatterim, Malamar, Scraggy, Carvana, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon, Kakuna, Roly Coley, a Reverse Pokeball, and Ha, ah, Lycanroc Hollow. So it took me so long to pull this Lycanroc card, and now in like my last two or three videos, uh, I that's what I've pulled for my Hollow. So not too bad. Glad I'm pulling that. Um, but we could definitely do a little bit better. Not to worry, guys. We got uh, three Al Creamy V Max packs here. This one feels a little bit weird. Like all the cards were all kind of jumbled around in there. But let's see what we get in this second pack here, guys. Um, if this is uh, not your first time here on my channel, thank you very much for coming back and taking a look at this opening here. Uh, definitely an exciting one, uh, at least I hope, um, for you guys to watch. Uh, if this is your first time, uh, my name is ASXTCG and I open up Pokemon cards on YouTube. I'm um, going to start to try to get into a little bit of the PTCGO if I can as well. Um, but that'll be at a later date. Sizzlipede got a Professor's Research uh, Reverse Rare, pretty cool. And, ah, Marnie Hollow. So, still a very cool card. Uh, I like Marnie, she's on the play mat here. So, definitely a very cool pull. Um, but man, guys, uh, I think I said this in another video before uh, when I was opening up Champion's Path, but there is not very many cards that I need left um, from this set here. And uh, once, once you get down to those single digits on how many cards you need, it, it gets uh, pretty rough <laughs> with these pulls sometimes, uh, especially with all these duplicates you're getting here. Um, yeah, I got that out of there. There we go. There's that code for you. All right, let's see what we can do, guys. Got another Lightning Energy, Sonya, Sharpedo, Arbok, Roly Coley, Sizzlepede, Purloin, Scraggy, Pokeball, a Reverse uh, Hatterim, and <laughs> Professor's Research Hollow. So these uh, these packs aren't uh, you know treating us so well. Not as well as I had hoped. Um, but that's okay. We got one more chance. Uh, we definitely need that Rainbow Charizard, guys. Um, if I could pull that, then, uh, you know, I honestly wouldn't mind if I didn't open up Champion's Path again. But it is a very fun set to open. You never know what you're going to get in these packs here. Hopefully this isn't going to be a dud box, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Because you always get a hollow, um, you know, no matter what here in Champion's Path. Man, these packs do not want to open tonight. 
So, oop, well, we got an Arbok. We'll just throw that aside. And uh, just gonna go one, two, three, I think, because I took an extra one off the back. Hopefully, that works. All right, we got a Metal Energy, Rotom Phone, Milo, Scraggy, Purloin, Machop, Nickit, Trubbish, a Reverse Roly Coley, and another Professor's Research Hollow. So that wasn't a very good double V box. I guess I should have left that one on the shelf, guys. But we are here uh, for the main star of the show, guys, this Charizard GX10. Um, I hope I'm making the right choice by opening this one up. I know these Charizard GX tins, um, you know, definitely are, you know, a little bit more expensive than the Raichu uh, or the, um, where is he, or the Gyarados tin. Uh, not by too much, but just by a little bit more. So um, let me know in the comments below if you think I'm crazy for opening this. Uh, but uh, I'm going to get op this open here with this pin. Hopefully I do not scratch it up. Going to kind of try to open it there. Here we go. All right, guys, I am super excited. This is my first time opening up Hidden Fates, and I couldn't be more happy uh, that it is a Charizard GX tin, to be honest with you. So I am happy to get into that, get that pin out of the way here. And uh, I do already have um, this deck on the PTCGO, so I will be giving that away here. And man, this card just looks really awesome. Uh, not centered perfectly here, um, but that's okay. Let me get a little bit closer up here for you guys. Not centered perfectly, but wow, that card just looks really, really awesome. The artwork, you know, Charizard, um, you know, they really all do awesome artworks for him all the time. So let me see here. Okay, so it is going to be this way. Um, I'm going to read this one off here to you guys just to give everybody the best chance at getting this uh, Charizard GX deck. So uh, the code is KLB. P7XM7B7XKL. Good luck to you. Hope you got that. Uh, and not those bots. Let's get this Charizard GX in a sleeve. What kind of sleeve we got? I'll throw them in a vivid voltage sleeve because I do not have any of those hidden fates sleeves unless I open one of those uh, elite trainer boxes, and the likelihood of that is very slim. So Let's see what we can do here in this uh, in this Hidden Fates tin. It is one of those reprints, guys. Uh, it does not have the plastic in it, so uh, you know, don't freak out over that. Let's go, guys. All right, these. Uh, let's see if we got the artwork here or the whole art set. We do. So we got the shiny Charizard GX, uh, the shiny Mewtwo, shine, uh, the Mew, and the birds. So I'm gonna go through them just like this. They put them in there perfect with the Charizard last, guys. So. Let's see what we can do, guys. I am so nervous to see what we get here. Uh, if we get any shiny pulls at all, I really hope so. Um, I hope we don't got a dud tin. I hope I didn't open that um, for nothing. Uh, but let's see, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go. All right, this is not wanting to come out. Hopefully that means something good. All right. So there is the code for you. And it is still four. All right, guys, starting off with a Fighting Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, very cool Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, uh, not a shiny in this one because the shinies will be in the reverse slot, uh, reverse um, uncommon Giovanni's Exile, and uh, Lapras non Hollow. so... Didn't do too well in the first pack, but I do need each and every one of those cards for the collection. So, very cool. Super happy to get those still. We are going to get into the Mew pack here, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Um, these packs feel kind of interesting. The uh, Like the foil, like this part of the, the pack actually feels like kind of different than some of the other packs. Um, but uh, I've heard that from some other people as well. Uh, on these reprinted tins and uh, and ETBs here. So let us get into the second pack, guys. I'm super excited. I don't know if you saw that there, but I think I might have saw some shine. Let's see what we can do. Got four to the front. All right, we got a Dark Energy. Magmar, very cool Charmeleon. I really like that artwork for him. Jinx, Jigglypuff, Ekans, 
coughing. Cubone. Geodude. Awesome. A shiny swap blue. Very, very cool. And awesome. A Mewtwo GX. So a perfect pack, guys. A shiny and a Mewtwo GX. So very, very cool. This is my very first shiny uh, that I've ever pulled out of Hidden Fates. So very awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get that sleeved up here. I'm uh, going to put it in one of these a little bit fancier sleeves that fit in my binder better. And we're going to go ahead and put that up here. Very cool. And going to go ahead and sleeve this Mewtwo GX up as well. Um, looks pretty decently centered. Uh, let me know what you think there. Might be a little bit off, but very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, back looks decent too. Might be a little bit heavier here on uh, this side, but not bad at all. These GX cards are very hard to center and, um, you know, that's okay. This card isn't super expensive anyways, but super awesome to have pulled it. Uh, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and get into this Mewtwo GX, uh, Shiny Mewtwo GX, so you can see the difference here. The Shiny Mewtwo has the green, regular Mewtwo is the regular Mewtwo. So let's get into the Shiny Mewtwo pack and hopefully get another Shiny, guys. I'm super happy that I got a Shiny out of, uh, out of this tin here. Um, definitely is not a dud tin now, that is for sure. And let's see here. Uh, this set uh, has... Um, Fairy Pokemon in it still. Here you go. There's the code. Um, still, I shouldn't say that. Um, at that point, they definitely still had uh, the uh, Fairy Pokemon, but they took them out, and I think it was um, in Sword and Shield. Got Clefairy, Psyduck, very cool Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, ah, Lieutenant Surge's um, Strategy Reverse, and ah, Bill's Analysis. So... Um, that's all right. Like I said, I need each and every one of these cards I'm pulling here tonight and um, for the for the set. But we are going to get into this last pack here, guys. Throw some comments down below giving me the best luck you can, guys. Throw a like on this video here. We are opening some Hidden Fates here on ASX TCG. I am super excited for this, guys. Let us get into this last pack here. See what we can do. Hopefully... Hopefully it's got a full art shiny so I can show off one of those to you guys. That would be absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, end this video on a good note. Let's go, guys. Here's the code. All right. Let's see what we got. We got a fire energy in that shiny Charizard pack. Very cool. Pokemon Center Lady. Metapod. Misty's Cruelian City Gym. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. I feel like those three were the same... In the last pack, Voltorb, Pikachu, ah, Misty Cerulean City Gym Reverse, and ah, Erica's Hospitality. So, no full art shinies in that tin, but that's okay, guys. I had an absolutely amazing time uh, filming this for you guys, making this Hidden Fates video, showing you that ETB that I got that's going in the sealed collection. I'm um, super happy to have gotten that. So, um, other than that, guys, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you. Peace.